someone? Milo. Hi, good. Yes, good. I got this dirty feet. Dirty as fuck feet. Okay. I really need to clean. I really need to clean this room today. Might be a little dim in here. I never film in here, but let me think. Uh, what jacket do I wear? I don't have that many. I was thinking of wearing my Burberry. I don't know if it would match. Cause it's like, I'm wearing like light blue over dark blue jeans. And this is like burgundy. It just doesn't match. But I don't have many, oops. I don't have many long coats in my collection to wear. So I might have to just go with this. Oh, I need to dry clean my coat so bad. Oh, the checkers, so pretty. Okay. Put this on. Oh, I'm still honestly not sure if the trench is like too long for someone of my height because it reaches like nearly my knees. That seems kind of long, right? A little overly long. I guess the blue, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna get to work and take this off anyways. <sighs> Good evening. I got home a couple minutes ago and Kind of wanted to show off another teapot so i've been on a craze for pink well it's not really a craze it's more like i'm like before i didn't really care too much but now that there's more diversity more options more variety i wanted a pink teapot and another thing is i had um just purchased one previously but it was so bad it was like drip after you lift it up, after you pour and go like this, this would just like drip down. And what surprises me so much is how people were rating this teapot really well, like 4.5 on Amazon. And in my opinion, if a teapot drips when you lift it up, then it is completely useless. I cannot believe that people accept a flaw like that because imagine how inconvenient that is every single time you lift it up it's going to drip down and then that means you need like a paper towel or something on handy just for drinking tea when you can buy a product that works and doesn't drip down so just thinking about that i was just so shocked that people would say like in the review they would say beautiful tea cup i mean they would say like beautiful teapot um i got it for as a gift my daughter loves it but it drips but it's easy to clean, so not a big deal. Like they would just say, oh, I can I can clean, it's not a big deal, but it shouldn't even happen in the first place. So anyways, <laughs> I got this one um, and I am making myself some tea tonight. I also decided to buy myself a tumbler. Ooh. Whoa, scary. I also decided to buy myself a tumbler that might be pink as well just so I can bring it to work, some tea, because tea is just really great in my opinion because it's a hot beverage to warm me up at work. And since I don't like coffee and, oh no! Fuck! God damn it. That was so freaking lame. There was still a little bit of styrofoam inside my teapot. So as I poured the hot water in there, I just saw it rising up and now I have to reboil my water. Okay, let's try again. Checking the inside, no styrofoam. No styrofoam on the inside. Okay. I love the pink, man. 
Uh, I have a lot of pink stuff now. So, got my packet. I, I guess like in the tea world, loose leaf is better, but I guess I, uh, I'm not sure how willing I am to branch out. I like this brand Tenren because of the Taiwan factor and just because I've been using it for a while. Um, and jasmine tea, I kind of got the idea to drink it because when I ate at the Taifeng, which is a very famous Taiwanese restaurant, they served me a tea there and I was like, wow, I love this tea. So I emailed them asking, but unfortunately they don't sell their actual tea that they serve in the restaurant. So I just decided to find a substitute and I don't want to brew it too long. Okay, so it is about, it's almost 10 o'clock and I've been waiting for my clothes to arrive pretty much ever since I got home because they were supposedly delivered really late at night. So I finally got them, I tried them on and I have to say I am so, so, so happy about these. I, <laughs> I think it's so interesting how I am naturally a really small person, so whenever it comes to any clothing, I always assume that I'm the smallest size. So for jeans, I think the smallest size is either 23 or 24. So four years ago, I bought a ton of jeans in size 24. So I think they might have been actually a little too tight for me, but at the time I was just like, damn, these are like skin tight, I look good. But now, I'm like, damn, this is too tight around my knees and stuff. And you know, when you're sitting down and walking throughout the day, if the jeans are too tight, it's just not comfortable. So when I went to try them on at the store, I kind of realized that I'm most likely a size 25 because the waist area felt really tight for 24s as well as pulling the jeans up. So I decided to size up and I bought three pairs of jeans and I bought one cardigan and I, Love them. Okay, so the first one is a pair of Seven for All Mankinds. I don't know how well I can show these, but basically it has a little bit of a uh, distressed look on the front. And then at the bottom, the hem looks like this, which I think actually looks really pretty because I feel like I have a lot of the basics, as in like I have a light blue, I have a dark blue, I have black, I have white, and um, I don't have too much variation in terms of the pattern of the jean. Usually it's just one solid color. So having some variation like this is nice. And these actually fit so nice. They are a very nice stretchy material. And the nice thing is that the hem hits where my ankle is. Since I'm so short, a lot of the jeans oftentimes have a 30 inch inseam which means that I need to get them hemmed, which is annoying. But I mean, what can you do? They are starting to have like cropped pairs or petite sizes, which sometimes will be very convenient for a short person like me. Next, I just have a cardigan, a pink cardigan. You know, I love my pink. Has a bottom of, I don't know what you call it, frayed on the bottom, but it doesn't have any closure. It's supposed to just fall in front, no buttons or zippers or anything. I'll, I'll create an outfit out of it, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow would be nice to wear all these new things. Oh, exciting. <sighs> all right, time to seal this box for returns. Oh God. It is a Friday afternoon for lunch. I am home and I walked her already. Today is a really nice day out. I had a lovely walk with her. I just wish I had better places to walk her. The neighborhood around here is so boring now. Man, I have like no appetite right now. But yeah, it's been, I'd say I've been having a really good week. I'm enjoying work, um, getting to know my coworkers. 
I'm mostly working with one, really, and occasionally I talk to my manager when he stops by just to say hi and talk. I finally got a task to do, and it's mostly going to be written in PHP, some JavaScript, some HTML, and this is stuff that I don't, I don't have too much experience with, namely PHP, so it's going to take some time to learn and the beginning stage is always a little frustrating for me because when you're given a task, sometimes it sounds very basic in terms of what it needs to do. But since you're not too familiar with it, it takes longer to get what you think is simple to work. So I'm at that stage right now, a little bit frustrated and I am the type of person that doesn't want to ask many questions because most of my questions can be solved by myself. It'll just take more time. I can't do this. Oh yeah, this morning I had a pretty interesting surprise where I got a direct deposit from my company for an amount similar to my latest check that I received on Monday. And well, no, I got it like two days ago, but it went out on Monday. But anyways, I have to get that sorted now because they weren't supposed to pay me through direct deposit because I had a live check. But maybe, maybe this is a test where if I'm honest about returning the money, they'll be like, oh, nah, it's yours. <laughs> That'd be really cool, but I doubt it. So I, I emailed the HR, whatever payroll lady, hopefully she gets back to me. They have been super unresponsive. It's so weird. Hello. So. Here, let's, I don't know, do this so you can hear, so you can see my mouth moving. This girl's licking her crotch. But anyways, I have been kind of try-harding on my appearance because I've been buying clothes and as a result of that, I have been wanting to spend more time on my appearance. That way I can wear my outfits and feel more confident, I guess, at the same time. So. Today, I am wearing this pink cardigan, which is one of the new ones that I bought. Basically, actually, my whole outfit is new within the past week. This pink cardigan, kind of flowy, flowy, more, uh, what do you, whatever you call it, ruffled bottom, and an ah, frayed, frayed, frayed bottom. And then I'm wearing this black bodysuit. Basically what a bodysuit means is that it goes down to my crotch and then there's a snap closure So I'm literally wearing a onesie. This is literally a onesie, but the convenience of fucking cat Sorry I just let the cats out and they're still meowing in a storm. But anyways Basically, this is like a onesie and the convenience of this bodysuit is that I don't have to tuck it in. It's literally tucked in under my crotch, which is so nice because tucking in your shirt is so annoying. And um, I'm wearing, these are a new pair of Seven For All Mankind jeans and the fit actually feels great. It's very, very flexible and comfortable. And I don't know if you can tell because I can't tell from my camera, but this is like a wine red color. Oh, there we go, wine red color and just feeling good about this today. But now, now that I'm home, I gotta take this all off because I can't wear this on the couch, you know, can't wear it on the couch. And who is down here? Oh, hi there. Hello, I have returned in peasant clothing. I, I am aware that I am pretty much wearing the same shirt every single time I'm home literally like four shirts that I have been rotating between and I have to wash them because I haven't in a while and it might be kind of gross because it's been quite a while since I've washed them. Oh man, I don't know if I just made a poor choice, but I just, I don't feel like cooking right now. I just really don't feel like cooking. Plus, my lunch today is um, pretty much a lot of what I would end up making today and just for some reason I had no appetite so I I'm kind of getting the feeling that even if I cooked something fresh I would just not be into it right now so 
I ordered a steak from Outback Steakhouse to be delivered to my home. I ordered a Victoria's filet mignon. I get medium rare. I get mashed potatoes on the side. And I got a blue cheese pecan chopped salad. I am pretty sure that is the salad I've always gotten in the past for my side. Um, last time when I was at the restaurant with my parents, I think I didn't read the menu properly because they might have changed it. And it was a wedge salad, which they brought a freaking lettuce not chopped up to me. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So on the menu, it says chopped salad. So I'm going to assume that this salad is going to come dismembered. And I put a little special instruction that said, if you can, please give me free bread and butter. Because, you know, they provide that bread and butter at the restaurant and it's so delicious but oh I just feel like you know delivery is not good because it's a 199 fee actually that's not that bad because for uber eats it was five dollars so 199 maybe that will go up in time I don't know but they I think they force you to tip your driver so I provided a 10% tip which is like two something and then tax turned out to be around four dollars i think so total it was like 33 dollars for me to eat dinner uh that's that's like another thing that i might need to get used to that i kind of had a realization about recently it's just that like with the job change and with having more income i can start to hopefully allow myself these opportunities more i'm not saying this specifically but i'm just saying like once in a while when i just feel like ordering food, I kind of don't, I shouldn't feel too bad about it because like I, um, I'm doing pretty well for myself and when you have more income, it doesn't necessarily mean you want to be reckless with your spending like I have been lately, but it also just means like stuff like this where you normally feel like you should penny pinch and be really frugal you can kind of let go a little more now. So I wanna get used to that mindset because every time I do stuff like this, I'm, I always beat myself up over it internally. I'm like, damn, I'm being so stupid. I'm being so reckless. I have stuff I can cook. I don't need to be spending this money. But another thing is just like, you know, sometimes you, you don't always want, if you don't feel like doing something, you don't always have to force yourself to do it. So I could easily cook. I just really don't feel like it. I also feel like I won't enjoy what I'm gonna eat right now. So it's kind of a lose-lose. So I am gonna wait for my food to come in. And then with a special meal comes a special movie. So because of the failed animated movies that have been coming out, I decided that I wanted to watch How to Train Your Dragon over again. I haven't seen it in a while. I have to say that so far for this week of work, um, I was finally assigned something to do. And I mentioned before that like in the beginning of work, it can be frustrating when something that seems like a simple task turns out to take longer than that. And it's a little more complicated because this is coding. So what sounds simple gets complicated from a variety of things, but Aside from that though, I feel like I have really been enjoying work. Um, I mostly work with one coworker who is training me. So he kind of gave me a task. He's been giving me permissions for things or access. So he comes around once in a while to see if it works. And he also, you know, asks me if there's anything I need help with. And he is really cool. Like I, I get along with him really well. I guess in a sense he already feels like that person I can say anything to in terms of like cursing or like the random sense of humor that I tend to have. I feel pretty comfortable saying that stuff to him. So that by itself is really meaningful to me because at my last job, I felt like I couldn't do that with anyone. And it's only been two weeks and I feel like I get along really well with him. So. That's already a huge plus for me in terms of work. Um, another thing is just that, yeah, they pretty much just leave me alone unless they kind of come by once in a while to talk, but that's not going to last because right now I'm training a bit. I'm starting off fresh. So of course they will interact with me more when they think I have questions. But aside from that, I'm just, 
I really like the environment. Okay, so earlier I was in the middle of talking and then I heard some really questionable animal sounds on the side, like excessive licking and gargling. So at first, at first, I thought that one of the cats was eating a bug because I'm pretty sure that's kind of similar to what it would sound like. What are you doing? Sometimes I wish you guys could have a view of her at the same time when I'm talking because I do look down at her a lot and you guys probably don't know like what the fuck I'm looking at because you only see up here. But anyways, I went over and Sammy threw up a little bit. So I was talking about work. Yeah, so I am pretty happy at work and that makes me happy <laughs> overall because when I go back to work, I'm not dreading it. When I wake up to go to work, I'm not dreading it. And that is very important. You really start to notice stuff like that when it comes to your overall happiness because like when I get off work, even though, yeah, I'm leaving work, but I was like in a really good mood. Um, just like my entire day, my entire week, I feel like I've been in a really good mood and I'm very happy about that. So, um, so far things are going well and I'm really looking forward to the weekend because tomorrow, tomorrow I have plans. I made these plans yesterday. I have been planning to finally go see Annihilation and simultaneously I will finally return my jeans. <laughs> Alright, I got my order, six ounces of steak, that's it, and mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. This is my bread, their bread is so good, I need to eat it right away because it's losing its warmth. And then I have my blue cheese chopped pecan salad, which is exactly what I expected, which is great. I think I'm going to eat the steak first because that is the most important one that you want to just get rid of. This one I have been considering saving as another meal for later, but I actually would rather eat it fresh. So I'll probably eat it as well tonight. <sighs> so I, uh, I just finished watching How to Train Your Dragon, so apologies for the stuffy nose, the uh, deeper voice, <laughs> and the slightly um, puffy eyes because for some reason I used to think that I cried from movies if I was sad if I was like overwhelmingly happy for the character or just feeling really touched so this movie was the third one feeling touched and I was really surprised by how much I cried because this isn't really a sad movie it's a great movie and the main reason I wanted to watch it was because I was writing an entry for my blog the other day and I was writing about how terrible Ferdinand was and about how much I loved How to Train Your Dragon and also how many years it has been since a good animated movie was out. So How to Train Your Dragon came out in 2010 and I remember when I watched it I was like this is the best animated movie I've ever seen. I do think it is my favorite of all time and I haven't seen it in a while so I really wanted to just watch it over again. So I think I think this rewatch was like a combination of feeling like I'm watching a quality movie. Um, sometimes I just feel like there's disappointment everywhere whenever I'm trying out all these new movies so going back and watching this and realizing how good it is contributed to me crying because i was like oh my god like i miss i miss movies like this you know good quality movies that really really touch you on so many levels i like how the main character the character development isn't around him changing who he is it's about him embracing it and i think that is like a really beautiful message to get across because he is like really different and you he's unique 
completely different than the other Vikings that are in his little town, whatever you want to call it. And for a lot of his life, he's kind of like shamed for it, including his father. There's just so much that he goes through that really develops his character and I love seeing the transformation. Ah, it's just such a powerful movie. Such a powerful movie on so many levels. I don't want to like explain it too much, especially if people haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, I really, really recommend it. Like definitely watch it. I really can't see anyone not liking this movie. It is so good. The music actually, I had forgotten completely. The music is so beautiful. It heightened every single scene. Not often, I have to say not often do you get a soundtrack that really, really touches you. And this is actually one of them. And the interesting thing that I noticed too was that yeah, there's humor in this movie, but I actually laughed. Like I, I enjoyed the humor. Normally, I'm not a big fan of characters that are only included for comical purposes. So Jonah Hill voices a character in this movie and even though he is literally just for comical purposes, he is funny. They, they wrote his jokes in well and he didn't bother me. Like he wasn't overbearing, but he had his moments and they were enjoyable. So the humor in this movie is actually good. I think that's the difference. Like having good humor and making sure that it's very fitting and not forced I think that's the key because a lot of movies nowadays, the humor feels forced and that's why it bugs the heck out of me. I just think that every time after I finish watching a really good movie, sometimes I just don't know what to do with myself. So right now I'm still kind of feeling it where I finished watching the movie and I'm kind of processing what I saw and I'm just like kind of calm, at peace, and I'm just thinking like, man, what do I do with my life now, <laughs> right? I just saw this amazing movie. Now what am I supposed to do with the rest of my night to match up to that? Well, obviously I don't care about matching up to the movie in terms of what I do, but sometimes you just feel that way. So I'm kind of going through that right now. <laughs> I've kind of just been like spacing out my recording more because um, I think at times it just gets a little hard to record throughout the week, especially if I feel like I'm not doing anything different and there are times where I just don't want to, you know, record every single thing I'm doing and I guess sometimes I also don't feel like I have as much to say some nights as others. So I usually just try to like record whenever and then once I feel like I've compiled enough, I'll put it together. Sorry, there's like burps happening, happening internally. <clears throat> Sorry. 